Unfortunately, tonight we do begin with yet another horrific story playing out in the South. The deadly school shooting at an elementary school in Nashville. Three nine-year-olds and three staff members shot and killed by a shooter who police have just identified as a 28-year-old armed with at least two assault-style weapons. They say it was a targeted and premeditated attack. The suspect was shot and killed by police. Authorities say the suspect shot through a door at the Covenant School, a private Christian school, for some 200 children in pre-K through sixth grade. At 10.30 this morning, police receiving word of an active shooter rushing to the school, hearing gunshots, confronting the shooter. Within 14 minutes, it was over, but not without the terrible toll left behind. Tonight, the image of small children holding hands as they're taken by bus to be reunited with their parents at a different church. The haunting face of one of them, a little girl crying on the bus. And as I mentioned, the shooter has now been identified tonight, believed to have been a student at that school at one time. Tonight, investigators say they are looking at video from inside the school and that they have visited the suspect's home looking for a motive. ABC's Alex Perez leading us off tonight. He's on the scene in Nashville. Tonight, investigators in Nashville asking what led a 28-year-old armed with assault-style rifles to break into this Christian school and open fire, killing three innocent children and three adult staff members. They got a legit active shooter at a school. At 10.13 a.m., the first call coming in, law enforcement racing to Covenant School. Five officers enter and hear gunshots coming from the second floor. They immediately went to the gunfire. They saw a shooter, a female, who was firing. There's multiple victims down inside the school. Shooter is down as now as well. 1027 AM, 14 minutes after that first call, two officers confront and kill the shooter. Even in a remarkably fast response, there was not enough time. And those guns stole precious lives from us today in Nashville. Late today, police identifying those killed, Evelyn Dickhouse, Haley Scruggs, William Kinney, all nine years old. Catherine Kuntz, 60, the head of the school, according to its website, and Cynthia Peake, a substitute teacher, and Mike Hill, a custodian, both 61. I was literally moved to tears to see this and the kids as they were being ushered out of the building. The devastating images, small children moving single file, holding hands, terrified faces seen through school bus windows parents anxiously looking for their kids, running through parking lots, gathering at a nearby church and supporting each other in prayer. We just need to embrace those that are grieving because we grieve with them at times like this. Police identifying the shooter as 28-year-old Audrey Hale from Nashville, who at one point may have been a student at the school. Authorities say the shooter identified as transgender. Investigators finding a vehicle nearby helping them identify the shooter. Officers searching Hale's home, finding maps of the school property and writings the shooter left behind. This tells you about someone who's total identity was wrapped into committing this mass shooting. According to police, all doors of the school were locked. Armed with two assault style rifles and a handgun and multiple rounds of ammunition, Hale, police say, gained entry by shooting through one of the doors. Moving from the first to second floor, firing multiple rounds before being fatally shot by officers in the lobby area on the second floor. And tonight, President Biden addressing the nation after yet another school shooting, calling it sick. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools. And Alex Perez joined us from the scene tonight. And Alex, police say they do have that video from inside the school. What more are you learning tonight? Well, David, this is a private school, so there was no resource officer on the property, but they did have an active shooter protocol in place. Investigators have interviewed Hale's father as they work now to pinpoint an exact motive. David? Just an awful story playing out today. Alex Perez on the scene in Nashville for us. Alex, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.